Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will talk about the Blade Show 2023. We exhibit there well over 20 years by now, and uh, this show was no exception. It's the biggest knife show that is open to the public on the planet. Uh, so that is the way to go to travel to Atlanta in June to either just visit the Blade Show or exhibit there. So I did uh, get some items at the show. A uh, detailed video on each item gonna gonna follow. I mean the knives and tools. Uh, of course I got a lot of swag there too. They have different uh, patches and uh, stickers. So uh, if you like that, if you have a patch wall like me, uh, that is paradise. They have a lot of uh, stuff there. Uh, Domo Steel had a unique idea, they gave out those, and those are Dama Steel printed bandages. I think uh, six, really nice. Uh, Dama Steel is the stainless steel Damascus that we use on the Swiss Army knives uh, for by now many years. And uh, then somebody was there from Austria. Uh, I always are in short supply of meters of rulers uh, not in inch but millimeter so this is two meter uh, it's just a folding folding uh, item uh, fully folded out to uh, it's it's two meters so really nice he also did uh, bring me something from the Austrian police quite likely Vienna thanks a lot uh, greetings to the police in Vienna be a uh, careful with all the criminals in the EU running loose. Another uh, swag that did stick out is uh, this one here from Smoky Mountain Knife Supply. Uh, I did not open that one here but I saw it from friends. So uh, it's a two-sided hone diamond stone 400 and 1000 so that is rather fine in a poly song butterfly design of course this uh, not gonna last a lifetime and all that but it's still absolute great that they give that out uh, for free to the people that's something uh, pretty much everybody can use uh, then Rogan was there exhibiting by a uh, heat treating company so we uh, did a trade and uh, I got those two uh, tools from him uh, those are featured in uh, my videos uh, quite often uh, I have quite a, a couple of them so basically whatever you shouldn't do with a knife you can do with this because uh, it's solid made uh, 1095 steel heat treated relative uh, thick uh, stock not sharp of course you can sharpen them and uh, those are are uh, blemished ones I don't see much of a blemish at all but uh, that saves you a bit of money and uh, you can wrap the handle yourself with uh, the paracord or uh, fire cord uh, that you want also you can do the, the finish how you want so uh, I'm happy to have those two. Uh, basically everybody should have uh, one of those uh, minimum in the car uh, ready to use so that you don't need to mess up a knife blade uh, by misusing it uh, so that you can use the Rogan tools. Uh, then Helle was there from Norway and uh, I look at Helle for yeah minimum uh, minimum uh, 25 years and uh, usually uh, they can't offer much dealer prices or, or uh, discounts but this year uh, as they say the first time they did bring uh, two boxes uh, full with what they call dealer samples so basically knives without sheets that maybe some dealer I mean uh, uh, dealer uh, did they did, uh, have but but uh, just to show the customers and all that so so uh, that did work out so you could noodle through the, the stuff and uh, figure out uh, which one you like the best uh, prices were 50 or 90 dollars so that's relative cheap for Helle Norway 
and I saw this after noodling through. I saw this Helle Symphony uh, knife. Uh, that model apparently is no longer made. I work on the details, and that uh, is then in the in the uh, correct video about that knife. So what I really like is the the uh, birch handle with the pattern on it. So often it's just a, a brown with not much pattern. So here we have quite some some uh, pearl in it on the pattern and uh, on the other side as well. So I like that because uh, if you order it online, who knows what you're gonna get, uh, if it has a nice pattern or not. So it's always uh, with natural material easier to get it in your hand and select uh, as you watch it and and uh, see how it really is. Same is for the for the antler there. Maybe reindeer. I don't know yet exactly the details. But uh, yeah, really nice uh, knife. Fifty dollars this one uh, with the leather sheet fits really well in the leather sheet too. I don't know exactly why they don't make that uh, model anymore. It looks really nice and uh, for sure works. So yeah. I wanted uh, something like that for a long time and now was the deal there. Uh, then of course in the middle we see here uh, some Microtech as last year <coughs> they did a limited number of their switchblade out of the front. Uh, we see there the details, it's the typical Microtech uh, packaging. Uh, it doesn't come with uh, with the fabric. I got that uh, uh, without without the knife. So so as we look at the knife, uh, this time we have a magna cut uh, blade in a bayonet shape with uh, the top switch sharpened as well. Uh, we have a G10 overlay here with. The waffle pattern or frag pattern as they call it. We have the glass breaker and uh, here we have blade show the information with the clip. Uh, backside is smooth. Of course uh, double action so you can uh, close it, you can open it as you want. Uh, those are sold out pretty fast at the show so if you uh, can't get in earlier as exhibitor uh, you need to hurry as the as the show opens to the public to uh, get one. Uh, that's the second one that I got. It could be that that uh, be a yearly tradition that I'm gonna get uh, uh, another of those knives as long as they offer them. Uh, those are completely banned in Switzerland, of course. Uh, special greetings to the Swiss bureaucratics. I uh, wish genau was it tut und meine absolute Verachtung hier aus den USA. Seit 2007 lebe ich in Frieden und Freiheit als freier Mensch und ich kann auch solche Messer einfach kaufen und besitzen. So that was a, a greeting to Switzerland, to the responsible people. Then I got Ruik knives. Uh, Ruik is uh, together with Phoenix flashlights. Everybody should uh, know Phoenix by now. Uh, they are a long time in business. Uh, just a typical uh, box and uh, they uh, they have the, the model uh, designation of this one here. Uh, this one is just a uh, simple liner lock uh, with a, a bit of a smaller size that I liked a lot. Uh, quality is great, price uh, is even better. So again of each of the items gonna be a separate video. We have here the next one. That one has a flipper, uh, also banded in Switzerland of course. Uh, so that has more of a Persian style, you know, a lot of uh, belly and uh, additional lock. Uh, the small one, uh, the small small one doesn't have the additional lock, but this bigger one, really nice. They also make it in a in a sand color. 
then they had a special at the blade show. Uh, that one is that model here. Uh, they also had it in a green G10, but on Sunday, as I did buy this one, as I did buy this one, so uh, that was already gone as best as I saw. So we have a flipper, we have a, a liner lock, no secondary lock with titanium scales. Blade is a VG10 in uh, this case. A really nice uh, rounded off made. It's a it's a great piece and a, a nice flat ground uh, drop point blade there. Perfect for everyday carry, not too big, not too small, uh, sturdy, durable. And uh, after the video, I'm gonna splash the handle, uh, anodize it. That's just me for me. And uh, yeah, nice little uh, folding knife. So I think that is really, really worth it. Then, similar is uh, this one here. The model is here. Uh, that was one of the trends at the blade show since uh, the axis lock patent did expire from a uh, Benchmade and the people that invented it. Uh, everybody makes now axis lock folders. Everybody and their brothers. It's amazing how many, how many uh, axis lock uh, knives are now on the market, and uh, this one is from SRM and uh, it's not much uh, special on on this one on the first uh, look you see a regular uh, regular uh, axis lock there with the, the liner in there uh, they also make a version that is over folded so basically the the liner part left and right is connected on top uh, so it's over folded that is new I never saw that before and uh, what is interesting on this model especially is the clip and uh, again it doesn't look like uh, that unusual maybe how it's mounted there you see already the two slots uh, one on each side so you can flip it over but uh, no screws and uh, that may look a bit different it's a deep carry clip uh, the way, the absolute interesting way to uh, remove it is as you press it together and then you push it out. So it just comes out, it basically hooks with those two hooks into a recess in the, in the grip. Uh, that is really clever made, so you can carry it either a flush like that or you put the clip in. And uh, we had it as usual, but if you are left-hander, you simply open it up, put it here into the slot, and then you push it in all the way until it clicks, and then it's in there. Now, I don't know yet how, how durable that system is. I'm going to test that out. That's why I have this uh, sample, but uh, sure interesting how uh, the design of that one is made so yeah that's pretty much all what I got on a uh, on knives uh, there is way more swag and bags and play magazines and other magazines and stuff but uh, that is on the cutlery side what I what I did uh, buy and uh, yeah as usual it was a great show uh, sometimes uh, the organization lacks a bit and uh, that was uh, at least on the security side, this this time uh, really really well. They have uh, used a new security. I'm gonna link it in in the description. Uh, once I I remember the name, what what a company that was. It's always a lot of stress at the play show, of course. But uh, they did an absolute great job. I think that was the best security that we had uh, since yeah minimum 15 years. So it was easy to get in, to to uh, unload, to set up and all that. They were really, really relaxed and all that. So so uh, not not uh, making the exhibitors uh, angry and all that. Really, really well done. Hopefully that.
goes on that they are there next time uh, too and we don't have again a mess like before but uh, yeah uh, in earlier days, as I say, I come over 20 years, well over 20 years. In earlier days, the organization was way better. Uh, but of course, back then we had a, a smaller exhibition too. We need to, to have that into account. And also the surrounding area of the, the blade show was way less populated uh, than it is now. Uh, since they built the stadium uh, pretty much uh, close by, uh, that all did go in a bad way for sure uh, this year we had the great luck that they did not have any game at that uh, stadium on the weekend as we were there uh, they did play somewhere far away i think arizona or something which is great that is far away so we did not have that additional trouble with uh, with uh, uh, people attending uh, that game looking for a parking space and all that so that was great hopefully next year uh, the same but uh, anyway uh, after the plate show is prior the plate show uh, we already prepare for next year's going to be some changes uh, interesting for sure so it's always something that is going on so that much about the uh, plate show 2023